Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and happenings. Today, we're diving into a recent development involving Minister of Law and Home Affairs, K. Shunmugam, and a public apology posted on Facebook by Gordon Ong. If you find this content engaging, informative, and thought-provoking, please don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated with more intriguing news stories. On August 15, 2023, Minister K. Shunmugam took to his Facebook page to address what he termed a nasty, false post that had been circulating for many years. He stated his intention to file a police report regarding the matter. This post caught the attention of many, prompting discussions on the implications of spreading false information and the accountability associated with it. Following the minister's post, two individuals, including Gordon Ong, issued public apologies to Minister Shunmugam on their respective Facebook profiles. In this video, we will focus on the apology made by Gordon Ong, examining its content and the broader implications of such false statements on social media. In his apology, Gordon Ong acknowledged that on August 15 and 16, 2023, he had published false and scandalous statements about Minister Shunmugam on various Facebook pages, including his personal page. He also admitted to referring to a post by an imposter who posed as Mr. Shunmugam's ex-wife. Shockingly, Ong confessed to actively sharing these falsehoods no less than 92 times over the course of those two days. Gordon Ong's statement expresses an unreserved apology to Minister K. Shunmugam for fabricating and spreading these false and damaging statements. He assured that he had removed the misleading content and vowed not to make any further statements of a similar nature. Ong recognized the gravity of his actions, admitting that what he did was wrong, and expressed sincere remorse for his actions. This incident raises important questions about the power of social media and the responsibility that comes with it. False information can spread rapidly and cause irreparable harm to individuals and their reputations. The swift and sincere apology issued by Gordon Ong is a step towards acknowledging the consequences of such actions and the need for accountability in the digital age. Now, let's engage in a discussion about this incident. Do you think public apologies like Gordon Ong's are sufficient to address the damage caused by false statements? How can we strike a balance between freedom of expression and preventing the spread of misinformation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found the content insightful, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking news updates. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to your comments and discussions.